Uh, Karen, you were the, the next one. Thank you. I have two very quick questions. How important is a photo? Do you think it plays the part similar to gibberish for EVPs or can it be done without a photo? Yeah, for sure. In truth, up to now, obviously, these may change in the future, but up to now, we needed to supply something for them to manage. For instance, it is uh, if it is sound, you have it to supply a sound because sound is a mechanical wave. Uh, it doesn't exist out of uh, our three-dimensional life. So we have to supply something here so that they can change into their replies. And precisely as you said, it is the same with image. You have to offer something for them to change. And uh, that is how the, the transfiguration scales work. Because let's say I show one photo and then they manage it and they, they change it. They uh, give life to the, 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 the photo and the photo can get younger and can get older. So it is, uh, you know, how they have the, they have to have something in our space time for them to manage. Maybe mm -hmm. in future these changes, but up to now it is absolutely necessary. Yeah. Yes, because I was wondering about your cases of unknowns, because you would have no photo of those people, but yet you get a good visual of an unknown. Yeah, very well remembered. I think that it is again, usually it is over vapor that they appear. And then again, it is uh, something like uh, something that is uh, because it's like this. In truth, um, we have to understand that uh, the, the communication um, present in the later years, in truth, don't make the, the, the way for being transmitted. It is, uh, uh, to say transmission today is something wrong it, uh, because it is like this. Uh, they have. Um, a copy of uh, our space, of our uh, of our uh, room, or our persons. They have a copy precisely in their own space, so that maybe they can be at the end of the universe, and this will work because they will transmit it through wormholes. So, uh, whenever I have the vapor here, it is simply white. Let's say, or the vapor, but this vapor in their space they can manage. We don't know if it's through devices or through thoughts or whatever, but they can uh, project some images and then it is how the unknown has come because they send from there and it is in my, my, my uh, time and space here. Uh, it is uh, something like uh, a virtual reality. Uh, you, uh, in their space, they have us. Possibly right now they have exactly all of us together in their screen, in their lab, so that they can manage anything and that will be reflected here. This is a new theories of resonance that are mentioned in physics. And uh, it is much modern and much more updated than the previous technique that they used some 20 or 30 years ago. Uh, by that time, they used it to make transmissions. But when we were in Phoenix, and I was there with me, I think you were too, uh, 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 when Haldiv said that they couldn't transmit anymore because of the, the shield around Earth. So they had to invent a new technology so they don't have to transmit and cross our uh, the surrounding of Earth. So everything is done as virtual reality. So whenever they they wanted to send the, the, the unknowns, they possibly have the unknowns there that they, it is like a, um, a print in the, the vapor and then it is registered here simultaneously. Okay, okay thank you. And the other quick question I had was, I know it's a very emotive topic in America at the moment. It's not so much here um, in Australia. Um, but abortions, if, if a mother has or a mother to be has an abortion for medical reasons or whatever, or the doctor deems it's medical reasons, does that child grow up and do they connect with the family? 
or yeah. are they, you know, a spirit who's come in for the purpose of having that experience of leading before breathing? Yeah. Uh, in truth, the spirit comes for these short experience, mm -hmm. uh, maybe for him or her, but also for mother, right? Because it may be, it is something that the mother had to cross, uh, to, to, to go through. Uh, but yes, what we were surprised to see is that yes, uh, the the fetus may be just a fetus of some months that he will or her will grow up in the other side. And uh, if anyone is interested in this theme, we have three magazines, I think, the communication with the gnomes. And it was absolutely curious because uh, but by that time we didn't have the images as the as Brittany's case recently, which you could see the girl. But when we made those communication with the gnomes, uh, Tesla replied on their behalf. And I remember that, for instance, um, one of the, the, the ladies that was participating of that project had lost a, a baby uh, in a miscarriage uh, something like 40 years ago. So it was an adult. And uh, Tesla confirmed that uh, he was he because she didn't know it was she or he and uh, maybe many other informations. So yes, they grow up even being a fetus is still a spirit uh, and the, the spirit will go on in life. So it is very, very interesting. Okay, thank you. Pleasure. Th thank you, Karen. So Len, would you please go ahead? Sonia, thank you so much for this amazing evidential lecture as always and for your beautiful heart. I'm gonna make this quick because of consideration of everyone, but my wife and I, she's on the other side, I'm here, we work as a team. We have all forms of communication to the maximum um, and she finds the individual in the higher astral planes on the other side through the locator building and she reports back to me. So I'm like the uh, court stenographer, the psychic reporter. Our, our accuracy is 100% because mediums are here, they're not over there, she's over there. So we're finding now, now we've had volumes of information on this with, now we're doing more children, we did adults, and there's now has been years in doing this, that the rate, the comment is the rate of maturity. Now remember on the other side, there is no time. Here we have linear time for the organization of reincarnation. The rate of maturity we're finding of children is faster on the other side than would be normally we would expect. And also in the reverse, as you know, we all, if you're old, you go back to your primes, 30, 35, 25. We're finding the reverse rate of Becoming youthful again is quicker, is faster too. That's all the comment I wanted to make. And sometime maybe you and I can talk a little bit more in private about what my wife and I are finding as a team of the higher astral planes and the individuals and the uh, spirit on the other side. Thank you yeah. again. Uh, Len, it is very curious this, this information, and I think that uh, your words could be illustrated with Wesley case because he passed the two years ago uh, with the age of 13, and now he is a young man. So it is, as you said, uh, uh, they grow fast. Yeah, that is very interesting, yes. Yes, thank you again. My pleasure. Thank you, Len. Leda, please, you're next. Uh, congratulations on your work, Sonia. It uh, makes us Brazilian very proud. Uh, I, I just like to understand more about the stations because you mentioned there are four stations. So the 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 communication is only made by this station. And in this time, do you know how many stations you have your station? Are there orders? How, how does it work very briefly? Just for us to understand. Yeah, uh, sure. Uh, well, what I know, right? Uh, and obviously we never know too much, but anyway. Uh, what I know, it, it's just something like this. Uh, for instance, uh, each of us in any profession, we have possibly when we pass, we will go on interested in developing our the, the same uh, functions that we had. For instance, a medical doctor, let's suppose he works uh, 
15 hours a day here. He loves medicine. And when he passes, possibly, he will, he will remain in hospitals, inspiring other doctors and uh, helping as much as he can and so on. So, I mean, I think that uh, uh, we keep the same interests, right? So, this also will happen to engineers, physicists, math math mathematicians, um, uh, uh, inventors. So, when they are in the other side, it is more than natural that they try to get, to, to get to be together so that they can go on with their projects. And obviously, there is a huge necessity presently uh, of the other side of high, the high command to, to bring to earth evidences of afterlife, which is possibly the, the last chance that our humanity has to change right to 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 go to the right path back because we are completely lost mainly with the materialism the you know this uh, thirst for power that we see in many places wars and all these wrong things that shouldn't be like this so uh, they they uh, 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 they have a hurry in uh, in establishing contact with us uh, making it each time better so that uh, we have a sh uh, strong evidences of afterlife. Maybe the, the, the knowledge of afterlife is the last chance of humanity. So just to say, so they, they are together. And so they create uh, places where they can develop the, also devices. Uh, the literature, the spiritist literature has lots of examples of uh, devices that they use usually not only for ITC, but uh, in general, they communicate through different levels. Uh, these appear in Chico Xavier's books, many of them. And uh, so they are together and uh, thinking, using their brain on how to solve these problems. For instance, let's say that 30 years ago, uh, they didn't have the problem of the transmissions because they, uh, the, the, this shield that Dr. Hodick mentioned uh, around Earth is precisely the problem that uh, uh, of all the, the uh, huge amount of si si signals that we have now, uh, GPS, internet, uh, all uh, satellites, everything is around Earth. So it may be impossible for them to, to cross these to reach us. So they had to put the brain to work and think of an, another possibility. And then it seems that it was Tesla's idea to, to make this thing like a, a virtual reality and then make it a possi po possible the transmission. So uh, let's say that uh, in the other side, uh, the stations are absolutely uh, huge places with lots of thing, uh, people, lots, lots of technicians and all sorts of uh, uh, people thinking not only using human beings, but others, uh, other races that can contribute with their abilities, uh, abilities that human didn't reach yet, so that they can uh, uh, solve mathemat mathematicians' problems to reach us. So. Uh, the existence of uh, of uh, the stations is something, let's say, natural. And uh, as I said, I know that I am in touch with these four, but there are lots of others uh, in stations. Uh, some were not even announced yet because they depend that the terrestrial people is interested. When when there is no interest on Earth, they don't have they don't function. They they, they keep going. With their tests, but by themselves, but they don't uh, get in touch. But whenever uh, it is um, the, the the interest is awoken, then it, they start appearing. Uh, so uh, lots of other uh, people is also uh, uh, ready to to communicate with us with <coughs> other groups in many places of uh, Earth. Amazing! Thank you very much. It's very clear now. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you, Linda. Maria, you're next. All right. Thank you, Anna. Congratulations on this work, Sonia. 
<laughs> and I want to share with you what I think about. From what I understood and according to what some spirits have said that in the future, we will communicate with spiritual cities through devices. I have a feeling that the pioneer work you do will lead us to this, I am right, <laughs> for sure <laughs> well, what, what i think is the, that uh, uh yeah as i said it is a, a need uh, to establish and to better this communication but i am not so optimistic <laughs> and think that uh, soon mankind will have this type of connection just for one reason mankind is not prepared so they have to make tests and see how they can solve all the problems to cross spaces and times and uh, we don't have no idea and as you said it is uh, just a, a, a seed i prefer to call as a seed that we're planting now that will flower uh, some years ahead uh, unhappily um, i think that mankind has to be prepared for that which is not the case now, uh, but I think that it will be the 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 maybe one day. I think that maybe uh, it will be our day by day, um, but it, it will take long until you see. We have the three greatest religions in the world, obviously many others, but three main ones, and the three denies survival after life so how can we go on uh, with this so it has to be slowly so that people can be prepared and then uh, ahead when the devices are uh, very well tested and when they solved in many many equation, equations uh, possibly it will be that time in this meantime we have no idea what will happen to make men better, but that is absolutely necessary because today, if it, if it, this device was at our disposal, it wouldn't be well we use it. It would be used for military purposes, for spying, uh, you know. So I think that uh, before this to become day by day, uh, mankind has to change. Thank you so much. I, I agree with you. And I wish that God continue to open up your work. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you Maria. Uh, Una, you're next. Thanks. Hi, Sonia. My question is about what you were saying about light and sound and changing light and sound. Can you talk a little bit more about that, please? about sorry but light light so, uh, yeah the 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 equipment the device that you you, you show that tal is uh oh, developed okay. it on okay. the light bridge yes okay it is uh like this um we have a Bra brazilian pioneer that nobody knows uh that lived 120 years ago uh, he father Landel, for his uh bad luck he was a priest but he was an inventor. <laughs> also, unluckily, he was Brazilian, so he was very unlucky. And uh, but he was a genius. And he, it is said that he he, um, he invented the radio four years before Marconi. But again, as he was unlucky, the fame he went to Marconi. But it doesn't matter. He was a genius, uh, Father Landel. His name is Roberto Landel de Moura. If anyone wants to, to read about him, he's, he had a very sad life, but uh, he was absolutely brilliant. And he is now one of the coordinators of the South, South Station. And uh, uh, Dr. Landel, um, uh, he, uh, one of his inventions was to use light for communication. This was at 120 years ago. So 
obviously nobody paid attention and obviously it made no sense it, uh, not even uh, electricity was just starting because uh, he, he 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 had been with thomas edson uh, father lander went to uh, new york for some time and in no very difficult conditions and everything and so and uh, so he mentioned that the possibility of light to be the conductor of sound. And now we rescued this uh, idea and uh, we thought the following. Um, uh, the sound is, um, sounds are, uh, let's say, some low frequencies uh, compared to light. And uh, we see that the other side, uh, due to their development to the, the where they live or whatever they have more facility in managing light that is why they are so good in images uh that what they do they manage light and make the images the trans images so we thought maybe this can happen to sound as well so Thales developed a device in which we enter with a sound, which may be a gibberish, for instance. And uh, this is, um, I don't know, obviously the technical part because that's not my function, but uh, uh, Thales developed this process in which this sound that is coming through to the device will suddenly stop sounding and it become light. So it goes on as light. And then it is the there is a part of the device that brings it back as sound again. So it enters as sound, becomes light, and then it becomes sound again. And our hope is that they could manage it when the moment that it, the sound was light, were light. So uh, that we tested it and it perfectly worked. So that was Landau's idea. And uh, yes, they have more facility to work with the light. And uh, when it becomes sound back, it is the reply. So it is something that uh, we are testing. We, uh, Talis made already four versions and we are, he is preparing the fifth. And uh, I, we hope that possibly with this fifth version, we will be able to, communicating double via that is in real time but let's see thank you sonia luis olivia hi sonia this is luis from belo horizonte again thank you so much for this amazing knowledge that you've been sharing with us and uh, while listening to you i recall that some friends of mine back in 1999 i guess I think there was an international uh, seminar in Sao Paulo. Maybe you took part in it. Yeah. And my friends, they were very impressed that some groups from Europe, they were going down the pipes because of lots of uh, strange situations coming around, like the Luxembourg group that was very famous, I guess. And I think you tackled this uh, subject while when Una or Maria talked to you, because the problem is, some groups that were not prepared right and i remember i remember that when while reading while the groups failed i remember how the uh, works like cardex for example could be very useful right not to uh, to, to because you know cardex they, they, they did a very nice job in terms of uh, screening rationally all the problems all the deception all the things and i think uh, it was a pity that those groups, and I think one of the reasons you, you tackle today, for example, Telefunken wanted to buy uh, the schemes and lots of problems related to ambition, related to, some, to uh, greed came around and it showed that it was really kind of earlier for the progress of some parts, right? So thank you very much for you to to tell us this because this is so important for us because we need to improve our way of thinking right and your work is so important for that because as a Kardec used to say this if the, the the very the very moment we we, we confirm that the, the, uh, the afterlife is the truth right everything will change even this greedy silly greedy way of being of us right 
So uh, thank you very much about that. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you, Luis. In truth, uh, I have been thinking that uh, if the knowledge that we have now, we, this group and others, uh, were all around the world as a real truth, Mr. Putin wouldn't be doing what he is doing. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. so, People wouldn't uh, be fighting. Yeah, precisely. So we are um, unhappily, it is not of the knowledge of everybody that uh, we respond for everything we do. And I feel pity mm -hmm. if it, that, that is the case of persons like him, like Putin, because he is responsible for millions of deaths and prejudices of all types. And still, we cannot do anything because unhappily, we are the minority. Nobody knows that uh, life goes on. But as you said, it is not time yet. They, they are not interested. Not even, it is useless to try anything because they are not interested. Who wants to know about afterlife? But it seems that uh, we belong to a project and this project it is not ours. In the right time, in the right moment, the other side will know how to proceed and how to reach mankind. Uh, this has to happen, it is a necessity. Before this planet explodes, they will do it, I, I hope. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Karen. You have another question? I didn't have a question. I just really wanted to thank um, Sonia for explaining her work and also Anna for hosting um, Sonia in your time. Um, and also Lisa, who was filling in some things in the background in chat so that we could um, keep up with what was going on. So I'd just like to thank all three of you for, for doing this. Um, and I'm so glad that the winters are going away and I can now join the group again. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Uh, my pleasure. I have to say that recently I made a recording uh, for Emma, uh, caring Spation and, and daughter. And uh, I, I think was absolutely surprised how beautiful she is now. She was beautiful anyway, but anyway, she, I, I, and uh, I remember that when I was um, seeing the recording, Emma's uh, results, I sent it to many uh, friends of mine saying, look at this. And then I, yes, uh, it was my pleasure to bring this to Karen. Uh, she is a great cooperator of this knowledge and uh, Emma knows that and she is trying to be present all the time, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sonia. I was about to ask you a question as well when you answered, you know, when you provide with the answer uh, that we, we need to uh, to get better, we need to improve because my question was exactly, uh, you know, the spirits book, Chico Xavier, remember he used to say that a lot, that uh, all the, every time the telephone rings from there to here, right? From the spiritual dimension to here and not the opposite. So, but I know, uh, little by little, we are going, we are getting closer between the physical dimension and the spiritual, we are getting closer. So my question to you was exactly, you know, why we are not quite there yet? And then you mentioned, well, we are not prepared. Um, and, uh, and and that's, that's very well said because uh, that's exactly what we need to work on. We need to earn that right to be in contact with them. We need to earn their uh, better efforts, right? Because they can do it. Yeah. We cannot just get there, but they can do it, right? It's a matter of us, each one of us, right? So we have uh, Lisa, 
uh, said something about we all have some responsibility and I agree with her you know it's a matter of each one of us you know we we, we better do our best you know on a day by day uh, little things that we do in our lives so we can earn as a society to to live better days when we can communicate with our beloved ones in the other side. Um, uh, uh, by the way, Lisa, uh, I would like you to introduce yourself and talk about the work that you do with Sonia, if you could, please. She's a great helper. Oh, my God. Sonia. Without her. So there is a lot of us that work with Sonia. Yes. <laughs> Everywhere in Brazil and here. Um, I manage Sonia's Patreon and edit reports and things like that, but I work closely with her. So, and I've been doing that for several years now. So that's kind of why I um, butted in and you know tried to explain some things there. But um, yeah, so if anybody is interested in checking out Patreon, because Sonia receives a lot of emails um, through iPatty, through, uh, herself through Patreon with individual people asking for help with contact. And um, over the years, I think that she's just determined that, you know, her role is to try to help as many as possible instead of just working with people individually. And so we started this Patreon group instead of being, you know, going out there and just putting a general email out to the public, you know, has anybody lost a son? through suicide, it would take forever to get that information. Um, and if she did it with each individual, I, I put in there, you know, how long it takes to go through even one minute of a recording with 1800 frames going through one minute takes forever. So when she can work with several people at one time. So we started this Patreon group um, and then we just publish in there, you know, who are we looking for? Anybody who's lost their mom or anybody who's lost someone to cancer or anything like that. And then we have a ready group of people and she can begin recording. So if anybody is interested in that, or if you're just interested in having questions answered about Patreon, I'll just um, I'll just put my email in there and anybody can either just go right to Patreon, sign up, um, or email me and I'll try to answer anything I can for you. Thank you so much, Lisa. Sure. Thank you. Very Thank well you, said. Lisa. Let me just say one thing. Uh, we from time to time have the idea of making a group of uh, with such and such characteristics. For instance, we are just finishing the with the mothers that had one son or daughter, only child and lost. So we made a, a group and it, uh, we had 12 mothers in these conditions. Uh, before that, we had a group of mothers who had lost two sons and so on. And now uh, I'm thinking of the next next group to be of suicides, persons who lost uh, a son or a daughter uh, due to a suicide. I think that uh, unhappily, the, the, the suffering of losing someone is something so horrible that I would like, you know, to be able to, to do much more than I do, but unhappily the day has only uh 10 hours more or less the other time i have to sleep right so uh but uh, uh let's see with the group of suicides if we can help i think the suicides is uh, well every every death is horrible uh i think that the separation is something even for those like me anna and others that know that life goes on it diminishes of obviously the pain, obviously, but it is uh, you cannot say, oh no, I don't care. Obviously, it is hurt, it hurts. It's hard. But much, much more if the person doesn't know, right? So that is what we are trying to do. And I love you now. <laughs> and we certainly do appreciate all you do, Sonia, because this is an act of love, absolutely an act of love with no interest. So, thank you so much. Yes, I need I need to go now. I'd like to say something very important that is uh, re related to what Sonia said. Is even in mediumistic groups and circles, many times we force them into questions because, for example, I like going deep into questions to the spirits about 
what things are like there. And sometimes you see that the information cannot come through, just cannot come through. You can be in Australia, you can be in New Zealand, in England. And if you force them, and Alan Kardec got that, if you force very much into that question, maybe fake answers can come. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we need to be careful. And this is something very important for us to deal with medium mystic groups, you know, because sometimes you, you, you want to go farther and farther and farther. Okay, you want an answer, you have the answer, right? What's the speed of the electron, for example? Okay, you cannot <laughs> say that. But if you want an answer, there will be a spirit to, capable of answering that question in a fake way. So I need to go. Thank you very much, guys, again. It's nice to see you, Karen. Nice to see you personally again. Bye, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Well, Sonia, do you, would you like to say the last words? And then, uh, no, just to thank people that are present up to now uh, with patience. And uh, I hope that I have been useful for something. And uh, I'm at your disposal. We are, I, I, always, I always say that we are in the same boat. So we are right so let's you know try to to move on and uh, help each other and uh, that's it i thank you very much for your patience up to here thank you Sonia.